Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie Simaco, owner of Southern Charmese, where we teach you the art of wreath making and faux floral designing. Today, I thought it would be fun that we make some wine bottle um, bouquets. Aren't these cute? These are made with artificial flowers. Um, and when we made these a couple of years ago for Valentine's Day on our YouTube channel, it went bonkers. Everybody's been making them. These are great hostess gifts. They are great for um, if you want to do a Mother's Day brunch or if you want a gift for the new uh, bride and groom. I mean, the, in these, the possibilities of these are really in the, endless and you can use them all year round for any season, any holiday. So this is um, the one, this is what we're going to be making. All right, so let's see. I want to make sure I can see comments over here on our YouTube channel. And there we are. <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring up our Facebook page. So bear with me so I can see comments on Facebook. I'm going to show you, I'm going to get provide for you the link of what we are using to hold all of our flowers. <clears throat> Has anybody ever made these? I know a lot of people have uh, made them. All right, making sure my volume is working before we. Here is the link. And um, flowerbox.com is providing all of you 10% off your entire order if you order these. I know some of them, some people are ordering these by whole, using their wholesale method um, just because they make such a pretty little impact um, in their Etsy shop. Let me grab an empty container so you can see. Um, they I buy them by the box, I think of eight. But here's what they look like empty. It's just this little device that you can um, use to put foam in. Now these were made for fresh flowers. For florists use these. Um, but I'm like, why can't we put it for silk flowers? And so what I have done is I've used um, desert foam to fill in the little container. And then I've just put just a smidge of uh, Spanish moss, just barely covering the top, okay? So just this little smidge of Spanish moss. And then um, this is the sample that I wanted to show you. So this is what it looks like, one version, when it's created. Um, it just snaps on to the bottom, or you can do it at the top. It's just completely up to you. So this moves up and down take it off so if you want to put it if you want something high on the bottle you could do something high right or if you want something low to go the entire length of the bottle you can do you can do it low so it's completely up to you um, you don't have to do wine you could do champagne you could do um, non-alcoholic if you're doing something for like a um, here where do I want to put this I'm gonna put this one over here and we're going to do one more. Actually, we're going to do two more. Um, I had my assistant get me some wine. <laughs> that just looks very springy. So I love, <laughs> love that. Started with the Moscato that's very, um, you know, very spring-like. And then I've got my little container prepared. I'm just going to slide this down. And we, we've got some silk flowers over here. <clears throat> just using some some silk flowers it doesn't have to be a whole lot sometimes just using little scraps um, are all you really need for this little little tiny tiny arrangement yeah oh great nan says they they work well with battery operated candles as well so nan must have made them <clears throat> Thank you, Nancy. Okay, so here we have our uh, container is on, on here, and um, I'm going to pull over my florals. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to make it uh, somewhat coordinate with my wine bottle. So I pulled over some peach because this is 
I thought it was peach flavored. That must have been that one. So I pulled over some um, peach uh, roses. We've got pincushion, Patria, and also um, some yellow orchids. So I just pulled over some of these. I've also got some greenery. Um, some of this is scraps, and I thought we could just start from here. So let me um, make room. Maybe I'll move this guy over to the back. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I want to create and establish my line. So just like with any flower arranging that we do, um, I like to, I like to, it doesn't have to be done this way. I like to establish a foundation of how my, a line of, you know, a form is what I'm trying to say. I like to establish a form for my floral arrangements. So that means establish the shape, okay? So if you're not in the Wreath of the Month Club, if you are, you know what form means. But if you're not, that just means start with just establishing um, our shape. Interesting. Was the other, oh, that's cool. Now I just didn't even realize this, that one goes one way and one goes the other way. Interesting. <coughs> Okay, so again, um, if you're interested in purchasing these, you can use the link, and it, uh, my affiliate link linked here at the bottom, and it'll save you 10% on your order. All right, all I'm doing is measuring right now. Let me get over here. Let me switch places, because I've got TikTok on this side. There we go. So all I'm doing is just measuring the height. Now, if you want yours up high, maybe we'll do the next one up high, and you can determine what, what you want to go high and what you want to uh, trail. All right, so what we're gonna do is, this one is gonna be low. I'm gonna go ahead and use my maiden hair fern. I'm gonna trim it down, and I really want it to be roughly, not quite the top, but a little bit, maybe a couple inches below. Um, and the reason, I don't want it to be very tall is because the focal really is the wine okay so I use these floral arrangements to enhance you know not to overpower you definitely don't want it to be um, too much okay so I like a little bit for this I do have my glue melted to the side and I'm just dipping a, dipping this in a little bit of glue I'm just putting in Let me go this way, I think. I'm gonna bend it a little bit away, a little bit away from my wine, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is go and get my other, where did I put it? Here it is. My other pieces of fern. All right, so we're going in this direction. I'm gonna take this one, and I think I'm going to, this one is the largest one. I think I'm just gonna um, piggyback and do right back here. Well, that looks good. So we're just gonna um, let me cut just a smidge off. <clears throat> we are uh, layering these. So I'm just gonna put this one kind of behind it, just to give a little height. So do you see how those are sort of fanned? I created this little. Um, fan shape All right now for this one I want it to bring some of that fern to the front here but this piece is too long so I'm just gonna cut this back cut this back I'm just gonna take this and put it right about there And we've got glue strings. Are y'all having a good Friday <clears throat> so far? Y'all ready for the weekend? I think I might trim this back a little bit more and then put those on the side. And then I'll show you what I have. Right now I'm just greening. I call this greening the base, just establishing a little bit of form I'm 
Okay. So we've got some high and then our I will go low. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to start with is our focal flowers. Actually, let's do a little fern. Um, did I have a couple pieces? I have this fern left over from the other one. And then I also have, this is a yellowy, a yellowy look. I think this will still be good. Okay, I've got this fern and I'm gonna cut a little bit of this. Look at that, how airy. See how airy it is? You, I'm trying not to overpower the wine bottle here. Now, to me, this is just a fun way to jazz it up. Does anybody um, take wine when you go visit looking for my needle nose pliers <clears throat> these are all faux these are faux flowers stuff but if you want to use fresh you're going to use uh, desert foam not desert foam you're going to use oasis foam you know where you lock in the water um, this is desert foam because we're using silk flowers but you definitely can use fresh flowers. Go to Trader Joe's and you know, get you some uh, flowers in a bundle. When you're picking your flowers, I try to choose florals that are of the smaller size. So the smaller bud um, size. All right, there's a little bit back there. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this one like a little shorter. We're gonna come out this way. So those big blooms that are like three and four inches, you could use maybe a three inch, but you would only need one. You don't need, you know, more than one for a three inch bud. But the two, the one and two inch, you know. All right, I'm still just greening it up. So I added a little piece of fern over here. So we're now establishing that line that I always, you always hear me talk about in flower arranging. That's going to be too big for coming out through there. Let's just put this guy in the back. All right, so we've got a little fern action back there. I'm going to do a little more fern up here at the front though. See what I mean? This is really good for using your um, leftovers. All right, for now, I'm good. I've got some fern, and uh, all of this is fern, actually. Maiden hair fern and then whatever long fern that is. All right, so we've got a little bit of green action. Now let's move to our flowers. Okay, this is where I wanted to use... Come on. I wanted to use these um, Patria pincushion, pincushion, uh, it doesn't say it's Patria, but it, that's what it reminds me of. You florists out there, I'm sure you know better than I do, but this looks very fun. Okay, how we want to do this? Let's go ahead and trim from here. I think I'm going to put this one to the side. And I want this to be sort of low. This is my largest flower. So I'm going to put him low. Or do I want him high? And then we group these at the bottom. I think I'm going to keep these separate. So let's go ahead and trim this guy off right here. So I'm trying to determine where I want to place it in my arrangement before I cut. Okay, and now here I want this one. I want this one to be right about, let's get this guy in first because this will anchor my eye down. So this is the smallest one and he's a little bent up. So remember these are all artificial flowers. This one is um, plastic, actually not silk. I like that. Let's do a little, little glue. Right, 
we got that down there at the bottom. Okay. And here, I think I'm going to take this slightly above it. I think I like that. Just trimming off some of the little nubs. There we go. Maybe a tad bit, could be a tad bit shorter. If I think it should be a little shorter, all I'm going to do is just bend it, bend it a little bit. All right, so we've got one there and one there. And now let's take some of these. I thought this was really pretty. We can intermingle some of these spray roses aren't these fun that's sort of a larger head and we'll take these little pieces right here so this is what we have I'm so concentrating on my arrangement, I keep forgetting to look at comments. <clears throat> oh, Aaron says, think of them as an alternative to a wine bag when giving as a gift. Great tip. Uh, when you're on Etsy, if you're selling these on Etsy, yeah, you definitely don't want to ship the wine <laughs> bottle. Um, but you could take a picture of it. You might, I, I would also check the terms and services of Etsy and see if you can even use the word wine. I wouldn't, you know, they don't like you selling stuff like that, even though it is not the wine you're selling. All right, so this and this. All right, let me put this first. I see where I want it to go. I'm going to move this guy close to the back. You see how we have now a little bit of spray, our spray roses? And I'm going to nestle this, um, this larger head closer to the base. Okay, and we're just going to go close to the base. So I need to trim it back even more. This desert foam, you gotta, you got to sort of bend it before you place it or you could break the foam because it's just a tiny little piece of foam in there. Okay, so we've got sort of our line right here established for our roses, but we can also bring some of that to the back. So I do like to put a little bit of that in the back. So let me go ahead and grab one of these. Do this one. I only have one more flower. One more flower for this from the stem. So I'm like, do I want to just go ahead and use the whole thing up? I think I do. So we'll just take that line a little bit higher. I got to get it closer to me, y'all. All right, so you could see we just added one more right up here. And we've got that spacing that we I talk about all the time and tell you how important it is, especially in our Wreath of the Month Club. Now I'm going to just take this, this piece and I'm going to put it back at the back. A little shorter. Just like that. Let me make sure I'm staying within my line. Um, we'll see. Maybe we put it a little bit shorter. Still working in the back. I want this to go right close to the base. Yep, 
we are wor working on wine bottle bouquets. If you've never seen them, that's what they're called. If I can reposition that. Just get a little bit of glue. You don't want to put too much glue. Like, oh, that's a lot of glue. If you put too much glue, what will happen is it will puddle and then it'll make it hard to get something in beside it. All right, I think I'm happy with this. <clears throat> okay, these little pieces we'll, we can use to fill in in a minute. I'm going to now focus on an alternate color. Okay, so what would, what would be a vibrant color with this? I'm gonna do the yellow, but I was looking, you could do white if you wanted to do white. I'm gonna use this orchid. All right, so we want a large, Stem. There's a small one. So orchids kind of go that way, but it's the wine bottle. Do we want it to go? We want it to go closer to the wine bottle, like curve in to the wine bottle. Feel like your game of operation right now, getting, getting in all that, getting in between all that greenery. Somebody just rang my doorbell at home. Okay, here we go. We've got a little yellow action up there. We can bring that yellow to the back and then we're gonna bring that yellow to the front. So this little piece of yellow, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm looking at my yellow and I need to bring that yellow down. So my eye travels down the arrangement. It to, there it goes. Just trying to get it to go into the foam and not be too crowded. We got a little yellow that brings our eye down, and now I want to put some of this yellow to the back. So we're going to just do a little piece. I think a little action to the left. So we've got one here. Our eye could go here towards the bottle and then back down outside of the arrangement. So I think I'm gonna do a slightly small piece. I gotta be careful not to do it too small. But it might not stick in my foam. I'm gonna take a piece of stem that I've cut off. I'm just gonna make a hole because that's where I wanna put this. See what I mean? So we have our eye going from here, here, to there. That's called line. All right, and let's do this little piece in the back. Maybe smaller. Y'all got big plans? I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna, I got a little work I need to do again this weekend. We are getting ready for our first event. 
here at our new um, office slash warehouse space. And I'm excited to get ready for that. All right, do you see this one? Pretty. I think I'm done with the flowers. It's a little more than I even really like to put in there, but we're going the whole length of the wine bottle, so we're good. Now let me put this over here, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in. This is where I sort of fill in any areas with greenery. So let's see if we've got some pieces of greenery. Like here's some little eucalyptus would be good. Just one little, just one little piece is all you really need. Any tips for cutting the foam to size? Um, all I do is put my foam on the table and I line it up with the cup and I just push it down because it's desert foam. It goes, it just cuts right into where you need it to cut. Like that, and then use your floral knife See, is that going to be seen if I put this guy way back here? There's that one. Yeah, desert foam is very um, easy to cut. Just use the containers, really. There's another little piece of greenery here. I'm just firming up my line at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here, I think. I think that three flowers is really all you need. Here's some, um, here's a little, but I was going to see if I had room for it somewhere. All right, let's get one little piece back here. We've got it. I was thinking about doing one more if y'all were interested. See how I just, I'm filling in a little bit back through here now. This is something I can use. I think I'm running out of places for glue. So I just added that little leaf right here. I think this one is good. What you think? Here's the front and then the back. All right, so well, let's put this one to the side and I'll pull over one other one. I kind of think I like my first one that I did better. Here's the one that I did as a test before the live. Here's the one I did with you guys live. Kind of like the, uh, I'm not a fan of that big, big um, 
flower right there for some reason. Maybe if I had put it closer down. All right. Now I've got another one. This one is a little more teal color. So I'm like, okay, let me try to match the um, color of the teal. Let's try to do this one a little higher now. All right, again, we want to establish our line. I'm going to start with some maidenhair fern again. You could choose any, any flowers. Again, these are all artificial that I'm using. Let's see, this one's pretty large. I'm going to use this one. If you're going to use the fresh flowers, you're going to want to use the foam that can take all the water. The Oasis foam. It's a little too large. Uh. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that away. Oh, well. You can always use those little pieces. Here's a little bit shorter piece. The containers, Dana, if you look at the pinned comment at the bottom, if you click on chats, click on the chat and click on the pinned comment on the bottom, you get 10% off of your order. Um, Sylvia, welcome, first time watching me. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Jill is doing my job. She's like, don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. I love it. <laughs> you guys are so awesome to me. All right, here is the top, okay, and now I'm gonna fill in again. Let's just double that up a little bit and add a little more green. All right, and now I remember I want this now that we're going to do this one a little higher, you can have this drape a little bit more. Cut off these little baby pieces. Man, this fern looks so real. I'm using, what am I using to secure the arrangement? I'm using these uh, floral cups. If you go to flowerbox.com forward slash Southern Charmeries, you'll get 10% off of your order. Flowerbox.com forward slash Southern Charmeries. Let's get that to drape just a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, I've got this piece and that one. I hope somebody's going to try these. They're good fillers for craft shows, um, your Etsy shops. I'm just going to put this one straight down in the middle. Um, let me turn this around. There we go. So we've got a little um, foundation established. Okay, now I've got to figure out what flowers do I want to use. 
Uh, let's see. We got some turquoise and yellow. This is fun. Just have fun with it. All right, I need a new little piece dry, draping down, I think. I'm going to trim off any little extra pieces of uh, leaves on this one, I think. I think it's going to be too much leaf. And I'm just going to stick to the flowers. All right, need to get a little bit more bend. I think right there. A little bit more bend. I'm just going to put a little glue on the end of this. Get a little more bend, a little more bend right here. Okay, there's the bottom. I was trying to see if I could even drape it down. Sometimes, you know, these flowers don't act like you want them to. You have to give them a little, a little more loving. All right, let's um, trim this. This makes me long for spring. These are so fun for a Mother's Day gift if your mom is a drinker. Or if you want to give, here in the South, we always are taking wine someplace. Just going to trim this a little bit more. Turned it the wrong way. Let me try turning it back around. So we've got some up at the top, some at the bottom. I'm going to work my way through here now. This is a little tricky because the you can't on some of these flowers they're they're wire through here and then they are not wire to the stem. The non-wired will not work as well because you have only that little bit of foam. And sometimes it doesn't um stick into the foam. Let's do this little piece on this side. could get these to separate them a little bit after adding more greenery but look see how we've got our our line I think that's 
is violent. Alright, let's let's just do this large one right here. I'm gonna create a little hole. There's already a stem there. I wonder if this will fit right on top of that. No, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna just try this again. I'm gonna use a, um, something to make a little hole in the foam. The foam is something that I added. Yes. Okay. Any questions I miss? Yes, you can do, obviously, yes, if you don't, if your mama doesn't drink, you could do the wine, you know, uh, you can do grape juice or um, candle or something like that. Okay, now what am I to put on here? Let's do a little yellow. So I've got a little verbena. No, that's not. Sweet Veronica is what it's called, not Verbena. Alright, I'm just going to put this piece right back here in the back. Here's a little yellow. Now we need to bring that color through the design. Put a little yellow over here. Okay, now we're gonna move some of that on this side. We could do it down here or down here. I definitely like it better on this side. So let's give a little bend. Pinned comment is um, on our other channels. Let me see if I can grab it. If you just go to a uh, flowerbox.com forward slash southern charm reads. Okay, so now more greenery and maybe a little white, maybe a little white, maybe, maybe a combo of both. Let's add, ooh, this is cute. It's a little bit of a green. Let's get this one added.
So I'm just going to put this one right through here. Y'all have fun with your flowers. And I'm really just trying to balance the color. Let's get this to drape a little bit. that I'm gonna put this one around the back side in this little hole maybe we'll do a little bit higher but we need to cut mm. all right I'm just gonna cut these off So we've got a little bit higher right here. And if you think it's too much, you can always just cut some of the berries out. Like I feel like I'm gonna cut these out right here. Don't wanna crowd it. I want it to look airy. Okay. We'll do one right here. Okay, I think that's enough berries. And now I'm just gonna fill in with greenery. Pulling out my glue strings as I go. I have some rose greenery pieces. So put that here. Where is my little eucalyptus? It's starting to transform, isn't it? And then we'll do one more over here, one little tiny piece. Let's just check our line real quick. We need a little something over here. So let me grab my fern. My goal is to put a little bit of something right on this side.
Greenery always goes to the back on this one. On this, this piece of greenery anyway. I think that's good. Don't want to overcrowd. I think that's good, y'all. Let me get everything out of the way. And we could show you the ones that we put together. So here was the demo one. And then here is the other one. This one's higher. And we've got this one lower. So you could see the difference of placement if you want it to go a little higher or if you want it to go sit low. Pretty. <clears throat> love them all. I love them all. Very springy. A very springy look. Do you have a special license to gift boxes wine like that? Yeah, we don't gift the wine. You just you just give the flowers. So if you were no, if you're if you were giving wine, you don't need a license. If you're going to your neighbor's house and you bring wine for dinner, you don't need a license. If you're going to sell it, you would. How do you price this? So the same way you price everything, you take your cost and you come up with a formula that's either two times or three times your cost. So you, um, just the same way you price everything that you sell. Thank you, Miss Cindy. Both are beautiful. Uh, Jerry say that's our favorite wine. <clears throat> All right, I think that's it. Love them. Love, love, love. Awesome. You guys are so amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I hope you found some inspiration um, and love for silk flowers. If you are new to the page, make sure to give us a follow, um, like our page, and subscribe. And um, I will see y'all next week. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.